It is absolutely freezing. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If this is the first time you're here, I'm Tara, a nurse practitioner that loves sharing easy to make recipes that are not only super delicious, but also healthy. It has been brutally cold where I live here in the United States. So cold that all I wanna do is cozy up in the evenings or in the middle of the day or whenever with a delicious bowl of soup. Today, we are continuing our fall soup series. We've made a lasagna soup, a potato gnocchi soup, an Italian wedding soup, and a pumpkin curry soup. You guys loved those videos. If you missed any of those episodes, they are linked in the description box below so you can check them out afterwards. We are going to use our Instant Pot today and make some carrot ginger soup. I am so excited to share this recipe with you guys. It is so easy to make. You only need a few ingredients. Be sure you stay all the way through the end of the video. I know you guys love those recipe cards. There's a recipe card at the end you could take a screenshot of for easy reference. Oh, it is so cold outside. If you're excited for yummy Instant Pot recipes, give this video a big thumbs up, grab your Instant Pot, and let's make this really easy recipe. Here are the ingredients we'll be using today. A complete list will also be written out in the description box below. So we're gonna start with our carrots. This is roughly two pounds of carrots, and we're gonna just chop them up and then set them aside. Then we're gonna grab our onion, get the skins off, and like with the carrots, we're just gonna roughly chop this because at the end, it is gonna be pureed. Then I have one garlic bulb here. Use as much garlic or as little as you like. I love garlic, so I tend to go heavy on the garlic. And we're gonna just roughly chop this. Then we're gonna grab our ginger. So I love ginger. I'm using a lot of ginger here. So get all the skins off and then just chop it up and set that aside. Then we're gonna grab our parsley. We're gonna add this at the end after the Instant Pot is finished doing its magic. We're gonna grab our Instant Pot, set it to saute on high. I'm drinking this delicious dry red. When it's hot, add in your avocado oil or any other neutral oil that you're using. And I've shown this hack before. I love to lift the liner up and swirl it around so it evenly distributes the oil on the bottom. Then we're gonna add in our onion, give it about a minute or two head start, throw in the garlic, the ginger, and just saute this for about a minute or so. Then we're gonna add our dried spices. And this is so simple because we're only using salt and pepper. Next, we're gonna add in our broth. If you've been following me for a while, you know I love garlic better than bouillon. That being said, if you have your own homemade stock, veggie stock, chicken stock, whatever you've got, use whatever you like. Add it on in. And this is the time when you really need to deglaze the bottom of that pot. Do not skip this step. Really scrape, scrape, scrape the bottom. Then we're gonna add in our carrots, along with some filtered water. And this is a combination of water and broth. Now we're gonna zest in some orange. I love adding orange here because it really brightens up all of the flavors. After it's zested, just juice it on in there. Then we're gonna grab our lid, make sure the silicone ring is on, close the lid, set it to high pressure for 20 minutes. Then we're gonna perform a quick release. There's no natural pressure today, guys, so it's so quick and easy. Open up the lid and grab an immersion blender. I love using my immersion blender because it's so easy. I can do it right inside of the Instant Pot. That being said, if you don't have an immersion blender and you have a regular blender, transfer it to a blender in batches. That works beautifully also. I recommend reserving a couple of pieces of those carrots to set them on top of your soup at the end because it makes it so pretty. Then blend it until it's to your desired consistency. Add in some coconut milk. 
along with that parsley. Then just give everything a stir. This soup is both sweet and spicy. It's so good. You can customize it all different kinds of ways like adding in some tortellini or some rice. If you enjoyed today's super easy recipe, give this video a big thumbs up. That way I'll know to make more recipes like it. And I would love to know what ideas do you have for a future episode? Drop them in the comments below. Looking for more healthy Instant Pot soups? Click the playlist on the screen and I will see you over there. Bye guys.